Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Let's Play. In the previous episode, we did a bit of exploring. We made our way here to the Asado Desert, I believe it's called. And now we are at least planning to, in today's episode, take on the Desert Titan, or whatever his official title was, or is. But before we do that... Um, we actually did catch a couple mons here in the desert. We caught a Sandile, we caught a Stonejourner, and we caught a new, uh, Pokemon as well. So, and I also had this, uh, surprise trade going. Still trying to get Quaxly. Um, this is probably something I'm gonna just have to, like, spend some time off screen trying to do. Because uh, I want him to be our water type for this series. It was one of those things where at first I was like, I didn't want, I just wanted to use the one starter, but now with access to surprise trades and whatnot, it's a lot easier to get other su surprise trades. But we're gonna fight Bellin here. I think we're also gonna try to catch that Hippopotas. Um. That's what I'm planning to anyway. I think level 24. How are they, like... How are they catching up so fast? Um, who do we want to go into? We don't know who she's going to swap into, so... I mean, Hermosa might be our strongest attacker. In general. Buffeted by the sandstorm, that's just not up right now. Oricorio. Okay, so Donphan's probably gonna be our best no bet no matter what. Even if this Oricorio isn't the electric type one, it would be the only one that we have for super effectiveness. Well, psychic, right? I wonder how they change forms in this game. Like, is the nectar a thing in this game, or are they just, like, caught in different things? I don't know. But. Is Oricorio done? Wooper is all 18. I'm gonna assume that Wooper evolves at level 20. I don't know if... Wagsire is necessarily in this game, or if it's maybe something different. But if so, I'm gonna assume it's still level 20, anyways. You know what they say about assuming? It only makes an ass out of you and me. Where'd that Hippopotas go? Oh, he's right there. So I wanna, f I wanna catch one of these as well. Trying to see if there's any other Pokemon around here. I can see which. I don't see any newer ones. No. I could probably click Sizing here. Ooh, he went for big. Okay. That's the one thing that sucks is that I know we're gonna outspeed. We are, we are level 26. Or should I go for stunts instead? I should have probably went for stun score instead. Done more. Paralyze them. Sand tomb doesn't affect me. And the sandstorm is gone. Good. Now 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Level 26 on Bandita. 19 on Wooker. Alright, what are we rocking with here? Special attack up, special defense down. Uh, would have would have been better if it was the opposite, honestly. But I don't want to jinx it. But I don't think there's any other any other new Pokemon for me to try and catch. Because it's roughly trying to come and fight me. There's a TM here, though. Light screen? That ain't bad. Yeah, I think we just say... Oh, of course. Are you gonna be... What level would you be? 35? I could probably be okay with this, right? Even if I kill it, like, that would be fine. I don't kill him, but I don't think I have access to, like, uh, catching anything super high. I might not, I might just knock it out. Maybe I need to. But apparently the mods in this area are just super high level, or, like, they're right around my level. And maybe that is, like, scaling. Properly, I don't know. Alrighty, alrighty. You do evolve at level 20. Woofer, woofer, woofer. What does it evolve into? Wooper evolved into Clod Sire. Huh. Trying to learn the move Amnesia. You know what? That might not be bad. Over Tail Whip? Okay, we got, we got an evolution. Nice. Let's put our Claude Sire. I keep forgetting that this box has all these Pokemon in it. So that new uh, Pokemon is the Tumbleweed one right there. I don't even know who to put in now. Who would level up and evolve quick quickest? Put somebody in though. That makes sense for me to just not have anybody here. Uh, let's see. You evolve. You evolve into Azumarill on the level, actually. So should I do that? You evolve at level twenty. You know what? Uh. Let's put, let's put, let's put Magikarp in. Someone that I know I'm not going to use. Okay. Oh my god, they all just... spawn. I'm guessing that's our guy that we're going for. What the hell are you? 
There is a new Pokemon. What is it? Raylor? Ray Reller? I don't know what this is. It looks like a bug. It looks like a bug of some sort. I can't put my finger on it. So let's stun spore here. Bug bite not gonna do anything. Zen's level 28. Nice. It is a bug. It creates a mud ball by mixing sand dirt with psychic energy. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. I'm going to call it Possession. Because it loves its prized possession more than its actual life. Um, special defense, ooh, special defense up, speed down. That looks like it's good for him. Compound eyes, roll out, mud shot, bug bite. Interesting. I'm gonna send him to a box, but like, interesting. Okay. So. No new, no new Pokemon, no more new ones, right? I know I could have caught Cacturn, but... He was also level 35, so it probably actually would have been a big pain to try and catch him. But... I don't know, man, we're here. Do I just go up and talk to him? Like what? I'm gonna save my game beforehand. This guy looks like he will just kill me. <laughs> Tristan, this is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. Great Tusk. Is this just, like, not Don Fan, though? Okay, I could Seed Bomb? See what it goes for, actually. Yeah. See? Ooh. Not expect that. Are we not fast? 51. I mean, that is somewhat fast, right? Maybe we're not. Maybe it's not as quick as I thought. What is. 86 attack. 86 attack versus 59. But I would argue that Aramosa has better moves. I could also go into my own Don Fan and I can bulldoze it to lower its speed. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go into our Don Fan and. Does it say what type he is? Probably not, you know? It doesn't even say what level he is either. That's... 
I wonder if that's just so it can stay on scale with what we are. Raptor Oh, it's raising its speed. Wait, do I have flail still on Don Fan? I do. Break, break. Okay, I'm gonna assume he is a fighting type. It's bad to make an assumption here, but I am going to assume that he is a fighting type. And I honestly think Aramosa is our best bet here. Maybe even if that best bet is the stun spore. No, I go for air slash. He outspeeds. He... Nearly killed me with that. Okay. Okay, because here's my problem, too, is that that quad resisted. That quad resisted, did it not? I, I'm gonna let Sly go down. I'm probably gonna have to let Sly go down, then I'm gonna have to let Pepper Croc go down so that I can get a paralysis off on this thing. There's... Not gonna be... Not gonna be a chance for me to really do anything else. Okay. I need to heal you up. I honestly need to heal up fully, so I don't care if I use a hyper potion here. Sorry, Pepper Croc, you're gonna end up d going down here. There's no way this thing is going to Ten level higher than me. I refuse to believe that. Why was this suggested, though? I just feel like this wasn't... Oh my god, I lived. Okay. So at least we have the chance of him getting paralyzed. It's not a good chance. But even one turn would help us. Yeah, there's no way this thing is not like 10 plus levels higher than my entire team. There's like no shot. Okay, so what all has he gone for? He's gone for a rapid spin? Brick break, knock off, and I feel like he went for something else. But I think I stay, I think I stay with my flying type, right? Knock off. Okay, that does nothing. Wing attack does some damage. Okay, maybe Zen, maybe Zen can handle it. Completely. I don't know. I heal though. There's no way this thing is just ground type, though. This thing has to be both ground and um, fighting. He hasn't gotten paralyzed once either, which sucks. Because he's just going to keep out speeding me because of the rapid spins.
I need him to get paralyzed. Knock off. This is risky, but rapid spin, yeah, that kills me. I don't... There's no way I'm supposed to be doing this right now. Like, there's no shot. So my Pokédex was updated. Do you think I'll show him in the Pokédex? Fucking Christ, I mean, super potions aren't gonna help me there, but... I would be surprised if he's like right next to the fan. Oh, he's not next to the fan. He's not there. Maybe he's next to like Bomb Birdier? No, he's not. Great tusk, there he is. So that's just that's Don Fan, but it's not Don Fan. Do you hmm wonder Do I use my paint candies? Because the main issue was is that he got his speed up high to where he was going to outspeed everybody on my team. So what I could do, to be honest, I could probably use however much XP this is going to get me. Didn't even get me a level. Shucks. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I kind of I want to take another crack at it. Maybe I give you. Maybe I give you half of these. Eight thousand XP. Oh shit! Yeah, level thirty-one. Safeguard. No. I did not think that would give you eight thousand XP. And I'm gonna give you. I'll give you three. Can I learn the move Worry Seed? No. I'll give you three. Try to learn the move Roar. No. And then I'll give you. I'll give you three as well. I guess I'll give each of you one more because I want to give the rare candies to Flamigo. Trying to learn the move Roost? No. I want maybe Flamigo just doesn't evolve. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the fastest way to get down there now. 
have to be going all the way back. Jesus Christ. Okay. So I think a strategy we're going to have to implement is we're going to need to lead off with Hermosa. In turn one, we're going to have to stun spore him. He's going to... He might just kill us outright anyways. I don't know. Hopefully not. I want to give the benefit of the doubt, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be that difficult, but... Because the Bomb Birdier wasn't even that difficult. But I guess I did have Don before. And that was going to wall it no matter what. And I guess Don Pan even now could be super helpful with him having Bulldoze, or with us having Bulldoze on him. But I guess we'll... Uh, what are we at? 26 minutes? Yeah, I guess what we'll do is we will get back to where we were. And then next episode, we'll take another crack at him. Because I don't want to necessarily... I don't want to leave him just sitting there. Want another, another, want another chance at him. I think with the strategy, I can beat him. Because I didn't really have a strategy, I just kind of went in there expecting him to be ground type and he's more than just ground type. And his moveset just be this proved to be a little bit of a problem. I also didn't expect him to be a whole different Pokemon. I guess we'll call this video early, because we're right in front of him. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button down below, because we greatly appreciate it. Next episode, we're going to take another crack here at the Great Tusk and see if we can beat him this time. I think it's just we got to gotta we just gotta do it and do our best either way hopefully you guys are enjoying uh the series hope you guys are enjoying the game and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out